Hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So today in this video session, I am going to show the installation of the SonarCube 9.4. Many people ask me these questions that how we can work with the latest version of the SonarCube. So this video is all of them and if they are using the latest version of the SonarCube, then they can follow this video and they can install this version on their Windows machine. Before that, I have one request, please like, subscribe and share my channel. So to download the latest version of the SonarCube, you can go to the sonarcube.org. Then you can type slash SonarCube 9.4. I will provide this link in the descriptions. So you can access directly from there. After that, you will get the SonarCube 9.4. Basically, the SonarCube 9.4 version is having the GCP integrations. That means it have the rules for the GCP. GCP stands for the Google Cloud Platforms. So if you are working with the Azure Cloud or the Google Cloud Platform and you want to integrate the SonarCube, then this version is for you. On my screen, you can see that there are some features of this 9.4 versions. The main feature is Terraform for GCP plus improved security hotspots review. Java analysis is 30% faster on the average. That means if your project is Java based and that you want to do the static analysis and you want to find the code coverage, then that is the 30% faster on the average. This is because they have added the few more rules on the Java. We will download this the SonarCube 9.4 version. So you can click on the download version. To download it, you can click on the download button. After that, you can see the download window is there. So it is saying the download the SonarCube. If we scroll down, you can see the latest version is the 9.4. And this version released in the April 2022. It's this year in the April. Before two months, it released the 9.4 version of the SonarCube. There are the community editions version that is the completely free and the open source. Developer editions built for the developers by the developers. Basically, those are the application developers. These people can use this version. Okay. Enterprises editions data centers. So which is for us if you are an automation engineers and you want to do the static code analysis for the 17 language. And so if any language, if your application is there and you want to do the analysis of the applications code, then you can go with the community editions that is the free and the open source. So for our practice, we will download the community editions. Okay. But before that, we can see some features. Static code analysis, multiple language supported CI-CD integrations. Okay. You can integrate this on RQ with the CI-CD tool. Team City, Jenkins, Azure DevOps, with any CI-CD tool, you can integrate this one. Okay. In the developer editions, it integrated with the code source repository, GitHub, Bitbucket, Azure DevOps, and the GitLabs. If you're working with the Azure DevOps, it, it is integrated with the developer editions. So you can click on download for free. So on the community editions, after that, it will start downloading the SonarCube community editions 9.4. Okay. It is showing that your download will start in the few seconds. So now you can see that it is start downloading this latest version. I have already downloaded this version. Okay, so I'm not going to download this one. You can see this one. So once your download is completed, you can go to this zip file and you can extract this zip file. So I have this 9.4 version on my local system. So this is a zip file which I have downloaded recently and you can extract this file. So you can right click on it and you can see the extract here. After that, you will get this folder. 
In this folder, the first step you need to do is go to the config folder. In the config folder, you have the wrapper.config file. Edit this one. And set the Java bin folder. So like that, you need to set the Java path. So wherever your JDK 11 is installed, okay, you need to install the latest version of the JDK. JDK 1.8 will not work for this one. So you can download and keep the JDK in one folder in your system. Then you can go to the bin folder and add the slash Java. So this task is done. This is the first step. Now you can close this. Now again, go back to your folder. Then you can see the bin folder is there. In the bin folder, you have the Windows folder. In the Windows folder, you have the start sonar.batch. You can double click on this one. When you double click on this one, it will start running on the console. So it will launch the JVM. It will take one to two minutes cleaning. Elastic search will start. And after the two minutes, when you are getting this message, Sonar Cube is operational, Sonar process is up. That means your Sonar Cube server is up and running. Now, how you can access this Sonar Cube? So it is showing the default administrator is required for this one. Okay. So to access this Sonar Cube, what you need to do, you can go to the browser. Okay. And on the browser, you can type the localhost 9000 this is the default port number where the sonar cube is running okay. after that it, it will ask you to uh, the login okay so when first time you are going to access this sonar cube with the localhost 9000 port number you will get this login window in the login window you can type the admin and the password will be the admin this is the default username and the password then you can log into sonar cube server once you log into the sonar cube server it will ask you to update the password so your old password is the admin and what is your new password so you can update the new password Okay. After that, you can see the first window of the Sonar Cube. When you successfully log into this Sonar Cube server with the administrator password, then you can see this is the new window. In the new window, you can see the project. You can create from the Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, GitHub, GitLab and the manually you can create the project or uh, you can go to the projects here so manually we will create the project what is your project name so we'll see that test demo okay and setup Now uh, you can see this with the Jenkins. It is asking to analyze your repository. So do you want to integrate it with favorite CI? So which, which continuous integration tool you want to use? Choose one of them. Gen